Nationalities and occupations. Ah, oh, yes. What is your name? Maximilian Andrea Archimedes Papandrei. <laughs> uh, I think I'll just put you down as Max. Uh, take it your Greek? He is right, from Athens. <coughs> Good. And what is your job? Uh, I walk with sheep. <laughs> you walk with sheep? <laughs> You're a shepherd, you work on a farm? Uh, no, no, not farm. But you just said you work with sheep. No, 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 no. Sheeps. Big sheeps. Woof! 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 Sheeps. Yes, sheeps. Tonkers. <laughs> Tonkers. Right. Um, I woke in office. Thank you. And your name? Well, at the moment, she's in the tea room with Italy, Spain and Greece trying to establish diplomatic relations. Look, I'm not gonna sit here. No, it's me who's gonna be sitting here. But before you, we'll sit over there. And before you, we'll sit over there. You take it, Amik. Who, me? You go back, sit where you were before. No, I sit here. You not sit here. Ha! Who's gonna be stopping me? Me. <laughs> Yourself. You think you're tough? Come out the side. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Where are you going? We go outside to have a punch down. You mean a punch up? <laughs> I'm going to where? Uh, how you say, yeah, uh, knock his bloody block off. <laughs> we see who's a bloody blocker he's a knocker off. <laughs> oh, just a minute. What is all this about? I tell you, Mr. White. Brown. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> it's about where we sit. Well, what's wrong with where you were sitting before? It's uh, my eyes, Professori. I've got to sit nearer the front. Here. <laughs> oh, I see, and I suppose it's got nothing to do with the fact that Danielle is sitting here too? She is? <laughs> <laughs> I never noticed! <laughs> you see, it's in my eyes, I'm a little short-sighted. And also a much bigger liar. It's not true, Mr. Green. The name is Brown. <laughs> you see, I'm a colorblind as well! <laughs> And Max, I suppose you've got trouble with your eyes as well, have you? Oh, no, no, no. My eyes are okay. Uh, it's my ears. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not hearing very well. That's a likely story. What you say? <laughs> I say you both go back and sit where you were sitting before. Now. Santa yeah, Maria. Right. Yes, he is a fool. <laughs> Max, uh, she is. <laughs> She is beautiful. She is wonderful. <laughs> she is. Yes, yes, thank you, Max. <laughs> Sit down. Sit down, please. Right. <laughs> well, there's really not much more we can do. Continue all. Coffee black? Thank you, please. Coffee black. Hey, I'll get the coffee for Daniel. Too bad. Sugar? Merci. I'll be back. <laughs> Daniel? Um, what uh, you do uh, after class? I go and learn the English. Hey, go I'm gonna learn the English as well. Maybe we learn together, huh? Yes, but what about poor Max? Yeah, what about the poor Max? I'm uh, crying my eyes out. <sighs> I have an idea. I have uh, lots of ideas. Why not you and Max study together, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Maximilian Papandreos. Maximilian Papandreos. Mr. Brown is speaking to you. Is he? <laughs> Sorry. You want something? Yeah. Are you here or not? <laughs> 
sure I'm here. Spare us, everybody. Oh, Max, can you help me? Sure. Anything you want. <laughs> I'm in very big trouble. I kill him. <laughs> you kill? The man who put you in big trouble. There is no man. Your gracias. <laughs> no, it's my homework. I know finish it. I haven't even started it. <laughs> but Monsieur Brown is going to be very angry. Don't worry. Giovanni, he's going to fix everything. Yeah? Where's Sarah? Uh, uh, OK. Who wants the homework? Only 10p each. Hey, 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 hey. 10p, no peseta. <laughs> Um, okay, right, who's next? Please. Um, Giovanni. Please, please, yeah. please. How, 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 how we know answers are right? Sure answers are right. My landlady's little boy writes them down. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> there you go. Socks. Plenty socks. 50p only. Plenty only. Yeah, only. Uh, excuse, I'm serving. Uh. Okay. <laughs> I have a two. Right. One, two. Money, money, money. Thank you. Ah. Now, I'll ask you each to read out a passage from the newspaper and then we'll discuss it together, okay? Max, you start us off. American Embassy Bugged. <laughs> no, Max, bugged. Hey, my boss, he all the time say he's bugged. Yes, yeah. <laughs> uh, so that may be so, Giovanni, but the word we're dealing with is bugged. Now, read it again, Max, correctly. American embassy bugged. Good. Good. Now, does... When you do this uh, killing yourself? Tonight. Can we come and watch? <laughs> Sir, come on, put it in. Max Giovanni, hold us up. Ah, I wait for him in the corridor. Max, as deaf as a... Postman. <laughs> <laughs> now, Max, post, because posts cannot hear. Neither can my postman. <laughs> What you do now? Maybe I jump out of the window. You be lucky. We're on the third floor. Oh. The garden. <laughs> um, sir, I do not have a garden. Only <laughs> tippy. I want my tippy. Isn't it time we went back to the class? We okay yet? We wait for Giovanni. Come and sit down, Sid. Charlie. This is Sid, the caretaker. Most happy to be making your acquaintance. <laughs> nice to meet you. Uh, you want a cup of coffee, Sid? I A cup of coffee? No, thanks. No, I'd soon have a fag. Sure you can have a fag. Hey, Max, cigarette for Sid. Oh, that's very kind of you. <laughs> Sid is going to talk to us. What is he going to be talking about? For anything is to improve our English. Instead of us all the time speak to each other, we speak or we see it. I think that's a good idea. But what are we going to talk about? You'll have to talk up. I'm a bit Martin Jeff. <laughs> Excuse me, who are these Martin Jeff? <laughs> Martin Jeff is deaf. Ah, excuse me. What are we going to talk about? Oh, I don't know. I should have seen him rest my plates with me. Excuse me, please. I am not seeing any plates of meat. <laughs> no, no. Plates of meat is feet. Your feet are plates of meat? <laughs> yeah. It's slang, you see. It's dead easy if you use your Uncle Ned. Uh, no, 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 Uncle Ned. Huh? No, Uncle Ned. Your Uncle Ned. Uncle Ned? Uncle yeah. Ned? Yeah. Oh, you mean he's crazy? No, I think you lot are, though. I think you're taking the mickey out of me. No. Well, we are interested in everything you tell us. Yeah. You're already teaching us words we not learned before. Yes, please teach us more. Yeah? All right, I'll tell you what happened to me last night. Yes, okay. please. 
Well, I went home and I had a bull and a cow with a trouble and strike, you see. It was all over the dustbin lids. So I went down the frog and towed into the rubber dump and I met an old china plate. It looked a bit Uncle Dick, so I got him a Jack the Dandy and I had a wheel and him. Both feet led to the hammer, we both got Brahms and List. <laughs> and I'd staggered home, took all my dicky dirt and my daisy roots and fell backwards on the apples and pears. <laughs> We are better off talking with each other. Isn't it time you were all back in the classroom? Oh, sorry, Professor. We, we've just been talking with Seth. Oh, yeah. I, I've been trying to help them with their English, Mr. Brown. Well, that should set them back a few weeks. <laughs> Big pardon? Oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, all right. <laughs> we're not understanding a word he's saying, Mr. Brown. He's telling us about his Uncle Dick and somebody <laughs> called Jack the Dandy and Brahms and List. <laughs> he was speaking in rhyming slang. And all the time we think he's English. <laughs> he is English. He's what is known as a cockney. You see, rhyming slang is merely using words that rhyme with the word you wish to use. For example, mince pies are eyes. Plates of meat are feet. Yes. I understand. Uncle Ned is head. That's right. Ah. And what is Uncle Dick? <laughs> I presume that's uh, sick. And Jock the Dandy? Brandy. And the Brahms and Lister? <laughs> Drunk. <laughs> That's not a rhyme. Yeah, well, it's near enough. Come on, it's near enough. <laughs> Max. Tomato. Good. It's time you all put your shoulders to the wheel. What wheel, please? <laughs> Learning. I think you'd better stay a half hour extra tonight. Oh. It's Friday night. And I got a date. Yeah, well, I don't care. I want you to do all the exercises on page 53. All of them. And you don't go until you've finished. Oh. What we need is something to attract the attention of the passerby. Yeah. Danielle should wait from window by herself. Yes, it still may not be sufficient to attract enough attention. It would if she took her clothes off. <laughs> That's a good idea. Yeah. No, it isn't. Look. Oh, no. oh, the football pool. <laughs> yes, and I'm getting eight scarring draws. How many draws on the cup on? Only the eight I'm getting. Huh? How much do you win? Oh, blimey. It could be half a million pounds. <laughs> He's also my friend. <laughs> Amigo mio. <laughs> Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Yeah. Ha! Bellos. Yeah. What are you doing at the moment? How far have you got? Let me see your book. Giovanni, Miss Courtney would like to see your book. I want to see your book. <laughs> Thank you. The Affairs of a Call Girl. I thought it was about the adventures of a telephone operator. Honest. A likely story. Well, until Miss... Right, now you all know what to do. Just be very, very careful that nobody sees you, all right? Sir, excuse me, he's stuck. What are you doing with that job? <laughs> I'm trying to get it out. Yeah, well, it's a long story, Miss Courtney. I'll explain later. Let me give you a hand. Pull, pull. All right, happy. <laughs> he's not here. Who's not here? What? <laughs> Who is not here and what is not here neither? Excuse me. <laughs> what for you buy a pen? For birthday. I buy the pen. I'm not knowing what you are buying. Well, you take your pen and change for something else. No, it is you who must be changing. Teach a proof of my pen. How you know? <laughs> Mr. Brown, my pen is much better. It writes underwater. Oh, I'm sure that's very useful. <laughs> my pen writes in different colours. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what, I'll take both pens. I mean, after all, two pens are better than one. For your generous gifts. Uh, uh, but I really think we ought to get on with the lesson. Now, this week, we're going to look at the vowel sounds, right? Now, does anybody know what a vowel sound is? Yes, please. It is a rumbling tummy. <laughs> <laughs> well, a vowel, not bowel. Sorry, please. Right, well, there are five vowels in the alphabet. A, E, I, O, and U. A, E, I, O, U. Good. Now, firstly, we'll take the letter A. Now, this can be pronounced in three different ways. It can be A, A, 
or are. Excuse me. Yes, Max. Uh, I'm not understanding. Uh, how can a be a r? <laughs> well, it's not the letter r. It's sometimes pronounced r. Anayama, what language? Then a b. Okay, I stick. <laughs> Pontoon, five card stick only. What you got? Queen of Hearts, Jock of Spades. Uh. <laughs> hey, you should not be playing the cards. You should be learning the English. <laughs> well, Miss Courtney doesn't think I'm suitable. Oh, oh, that's... We go speak to her. <laughs> I'm afraid that speaking to her won't do any good at all. Okay, we twist her arms a little bit. <laughs> yeah, we tell her if she not let you stay, we work her over. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do nothing of the sort. We don't have mafia tactics in this country. But... Max. Goodbye, Mr. Brown. <laughs> Taro. <clears throat> don't talk. Sit still. I'll be back immediately. <laughs> I think I go home. I, oh, I go home too. Nine. What is use of going home? You cannot learn the English at home. Maybe I find a way. There huh? is no way. I am thinking, if we make new teacher go away, perhaps Mr. Brown is coming back. And how you make new teacher go? Very easy. <laughs> That's no good. We get blood all over the class. <laughs> Much better we push her out of the window. Hey, I've got an idea. What idea? We have a strike. Yeah, let's all have a strike. We win, we win. Mr. Brownies are coming back. Yay! Yay! Hello. <laughs> well, if you'll all sit down, we've got rather a lot of catching up to do, I'm afraid. Excuse, please. Before we are doing that, we are all changing your birthday pens and buying you other gifts from Arabs. The Camden Arabs, you mean? Oh, yes, indeed. <laughs> Here you are. Oh, thank you. A wallet. Hey, a wallet? I've got a wallet. Hey, I've got a wallet. <laughs> oh. Your book, Danielle. Thank you, Max. It's all right. Your handbag. Just a minute. Hey, next time you carry the handbag, huh? <laughs> no, I think it suits you more. <laughs> <coughs> What's going on here? photograph taken. Really? Very nice. <laughs> Can you do me a big favor? What sort of favor? I would like to have a photograph taken with you. Yes, I... Max, <laughs> question five. Quite a hard one, this. Construct a sentence using the word indisposition. Sure. <laughs> Every Saturday, I play football, and I am being the goalie keeper, because I like playing indisposition. <laughs> Look, this is no laughing matter. If your present standard is anything to go by, you haven't a chance of passing your exam. Hey, Max. The professori is mad at us. Sure. We must do good with these questions. Yeah, we've got to get every question right. How we do that? I've got an idea. Professori has got the answers, right? So? So we get them from him. He's not going to give them to us. He don't have to. We steal at them. <laughs> now listen, everybody, because this is very important. What's the matter? Now, he's about the test we have. Yeah, we gotta do good. Otherwise, we're all in the minestrone. In the shoe. That's right. <laughs> Mr. Brown, your students have been at it again. Oh, it's not more graffiti. No, not this time. Read this. Young virile male student wishes to meet nice lady from cookery class for evenings of mutual pleasure. Reply Maximilian Papandrios. <laughs> Kindly inform Mr. Papandrios that the notice board is for official notices and not for procuring young women. Right. Well, I'm sure his intentions were quite innocent. Evenings of mutual pleasure? Yes, well, he probably only wanted her to whip up an omelette. <laughs> well, tell him to whip up his own omelettes. <laughs> right, I, I, I'll have a word with him. Studying hard? Professori, you're here. Yes. Sit down. Have a cup of tea. Have two cups of tea. <laughs> we'll be back, huh? Max. Yeah, well, just a minute, Max, and I want to work with you. Me? Eh? Yeah, I believe that this, uh, this notice is yours. Sure. Yeah, well, I'm afraid that Miss Courtney will not allow you to have that on the notice board. 
Okay. As a point of interest, did anybody from the cookery class respond? Sure. She was beautiful. We had a fantastic time. Never before I had a such a time. Really? What does she cook for you? Cook? We had a takeaway. <laughs> Look, uh, uh, where are you going? Uh, we got to spend 2p. Well, the phrase is spend a penny. Sure. I spend a penny, he spend a penny. <laughs> spend a penny. <laughs> you won't uh, go near the classroom, I hope. No, Professor. And you see, I just uh, left the answers on my desk and I wouldn't want you to be uh, looking at them and copying them down. Would we do that, Max? No. <laughs> Hurry up. Yeah, up. nearly finish. All right. You look in, Mr. Mr. Brown in the classroom? No, Mr. Brown is in the tea room. Down the corridor and on your left. I am familiar with the geography of this building. Sure. Would you mind moving? What for? I wish to enter the classroom. But Mr. Brown is in the tea room. So you have already told me, but I wish to wait for him in the classroom. Okay, Miss Courtney. <laughs> you want to go into the classroom, Miss Courtney? I will open the door for you, Miss Courtney. I am not deaf. <laughs> Mr. Capello, all ready for taking your exam. Excuse me, please. Yes. Toilet, please. Very well, <laughs> but don't be long. Ah, here are the answers. I put them in my book already. Good. I put them in my book. Hey, look, I got to tell Ali, Ranjit, one and Darrow, then the girls. Okay. Hey. We're pretty smart, eh? Sure. We have no trouble with this exam. <laughs> Years. I must have picked them up by mistake. <laughs> oh, I suppose last year's answers must still be in my filing cabinet. <laughs> oh. Right, is me next. Allez, les Grecs, allez! Come, come. Shh. Hey. Oh. Hey. Oh. Miss. Italy, hey. Italy! Hey. Now you watch me, huh? What's going on here? Uh, we are playing the English game of shoveling the halfpenny. <laughs> Italy against Greece. Who's winning? Italy. Oh, good. Only just. What's the score? Six and eight. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very close. Max. <laughs> That's me. Yeah. How did you pass your weekend? Um, Saturday, I go to see the big fight. Ah, a boxing match. No, no, football match. <laughs> and Sunday, I take my girlfriend to see the Tower of London. Oh, very cultural. Did you see the beef eaters? Beef eaters? Yes. No, I only see people eating sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, very funny. Anybody, any other suggestions? Sport. Sport, yes, good idea. That's a good subject, Max. For to cricket. Please. I not understand cricket. Well, it's uh, quite straightforward. Uh, there are two teams of 11 men each, and one side goes in, and the other side have to try and get them out. I didn't know you could play it in the doors. <laughs> it's not played indoors. Yeah, but how can somebody be out when he's already out? <laughs> well, I'm trying to explain. You see, the team that is bowling is on the field and the team that is batting is in the pavilion. Now, the first two men, batsmen, come out to go in. And then uh, the first one of those to be out goes back in and then another batsman comes out to go in. <laughs> is that clear so far? Oh, sure. When he's in, he's not really in, he's out. <laughs> and when he's out, he's not really out, He's in. That's right. Panayamu. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> Tonight, after class, we take you in at the pub, huh? Yes, and we're having a big feast. Si, big fiesta. Plenty drink. Uh, it is the last night of freedom. Sick, you all men are male chauvinist pig. Why you not invite us to the pub? What? And spoil the evening? <laughs> <laughs> you make your own fiesta. Ali and Suli have had a long discussion and uh, by mutual agreement have decided to call off their wedding. We've already booked the pub. We've ordered all the toast and the drinks. <laughs> yeah, well, you'll just have to cancel. Excuse, please. You do not have to be canceling it. But we have nothing to celebrate. Oh, blimey, yes, we have. 
my lovely wife is telling me that I'm going to be a daddy at last. Come on, everybody, to the pub! Just a moment, it's not time to go yet. It's half an hour more. It's okay, come back. <laughs> Also, we learn English phrases like, uh, uh, do you come here often? And uh, who is taking you home tonight? <laughs> there are more useful English phrases to learn than those. Birth, we refer to as BC. Does anyone know what BC means? Before Christmas. <laughs> OK, I go. <laughs> the Romans were supplanted by the Angles, Saxons. I'm not hearing nothing. Me too. Maybe he's sleeping. Why don't we try around the back door? Ha! Ah, back door more better. It's a big evil eye. Move out the way. I open the door. Yes, Mr. Brown. from a touch of concussion and raging fever. I'm terrific. Thank goodness. We thought you had flu. <laughs> what are you all doing here? Why aren't you at school? Well, we finished early, so we thought we'd come and give you a visit. Oh, that's very kind of you. And with you in bed. Pardon? <laughs> oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> Where do you wish us to take Jeff? You can take them anywhere. Just uh, sit down on them over here. Ah, okay. <laughs> Mr. Brown, I have something here. <laughs> you poison me! <laughs> I ring the doctor. It's more important we ring the priest. Priest? What for? The last sacrament. You may be dead before the doctor comes. <laughs> oh, great. You may as well go all the way and send for the undertaker. OK, what's his address? <laughs> <laughs> Me the kiss of life, please. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> so you like the kissing, yes? Oh, yes. Yes, please. Oh, good. I shall give both of you the most beautiful French kiss. Mm. Oh. oh, I wonder who's going to be first. Close your eyes. There. <laughs> We hope you much better soon, Mr. Brown. Come on, Ali. Kalinichta. Buena nota. Good evening. Come on back. Oh, yes. We are all each of us bringing something to cheer you up. Greek uzo. Now, Max, the correct form of address for a cardinal is not Westminster Cathedral. <laughs> I didn't know he'd moved. <laughs> should have been your eminence. And I want each of you to give me a word beginning with a different letter from the alphabet. Max, we'll start with you. A or A? A desk. <laughs> no, Max, that's a D. All right, D desk. <laughs> no, Max, desk does not begin with the letter A. I want a word beginning with the letter A. A door. Good, a door. Well done. Uh, excuse, please. Yes, Ali? I'm not understanding why you are saying a desk is not right, but a door is right. Ah, oh, yes. Well, you see, when Max said a door, he was meaning the verb to a door. And although they do sound the same, he didn't mean a door. For example, this door. Am I right, Max? Sure you're right. I'm meaning any door. <laughs> At this rate, it'll take us a week to get through the alphabet. Oh, we'll try again, Max. Please give me a, a word beginning with the letter A. And I don't want A something, just one word beginning with the letter A. Think of a fruit. Apple? Apple. Good. Uh, Max, L. Elephant. <laughs> now, Max, try again. Love Good. <laughs> Max, what's the opposite of bitter? Lotter. <laughs> That's not right. Sure it is. Opposite of bitter money is lotter money. <laughs> uh, Max. You. Me? No, 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 the letter, you. Umbrella. Uh, yes, good, but uh, not umbrella, umbrella. 
Hockey. <laughs> oh, it's fatal to drink at midday. Oh, oh. oh good evening, Max. Oh, please, don't speak too loud. I am thinking you have been also looking on the wine too much. <laughs> That's the trouble. He's not looking, he's drinking like a me. Yeah, why did you drink so much? It was at the feast of my patron saint, Saint Maximilian. So we had a drink. Then we drink to my patron, Saint Giovanni. Then we have a drink for my patriarch. Then one for the Pope, Archimedes, Leonardo da Vinci, Melina Mercuri, <laughs> Sofia Loren. And after that, I remember nothing. <laughs> Me neither. Yeah, well, you better go and sit down gently. <laughs> the sea religion is the true faith. <laughs> what about Greek Orthodox? You take it that Adam and Eve. Now, you're not going to tell me it was only an apple he was after. <laughs> yeah, I know what he was after. <laughs> Max, give me another word for forward. McDonald. McDonald. <laughs> yeah, he plays forward for Arsenal. I don't mean that kind of forward. Another word for, for the moving forward. Advance? Advance, yes, good. Well done. He was trying to chat me up. Oh, I see. He wanted to take me out. You want, I give him a bunch of fibers. <laughs> He's bigger than you, Max. Everybody's bigger than Max. Hey! Watch what you're saying, huh? Uh, listen, Nana Mascuri, you don't frighten me. <laughs> OK, come outside. Oh. No, all right, settle down, you two, OK? Oh, all right. Yeah. Professor, oh, Hello, Giovanni. This fight. What about it? Right. Well, we show you how to win. When you get in the ring, first you smash him in the stomach. <laughs> and when his head comes down, you knee him under the chin. No, 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 no. Much better. Chop on the back of the head. No, 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 no. First, you hit him in the throat, and then you butt him in the stomach. No, no, no. All right, that'll do. There's no more fighting. You're here to learn English. I mean, no, don't forget why you're here. Right. Yeah, well, let's see how many of you can survive another round. Max, give me another word uh, and explain to me what, uh, what is the meaning of syntax. Is it a tax you pay when you go to the church? <laughs> No, it means sentence construction. There's not going to be any fight. You not mean that? I do. Santa Maria, what about all the money we bet? Yeah. <laughs> money? You mean you're betting on the result? Sure. We all put in one pound each. What, ten pounds on me to win? No, we back the other fellow. <laughs> Thanks a lot. No, I'm only joking. Sure we back you to win. From the woodwork department, Nigel Jump! <laughs> Lose our money. We gotta do something. I have an idea. Hey, that's a good idea. I reckon your Mr. Brown stands much of a chance. Well, maybe. <laughs> Somehow, I don't think I like to be in my shoes, you know? Yeah, no. Danielle, I'm surprised at you. What were you and Max arguing about? Well, it... Nothing, uh, honest. I, I just asked her to come for a Greek meal, and I thought we could have a little bit of this and uh, a little bit of that. It's and... a little bit of the other that I don't like. Yeah, well, so <laughs> all we need is a little electrocution. Yeah. <laughs> Elocution. OK. Max, a minute, please, on British birds. <laughs> I like British birds, especially blondes. Yeah. Quiet. That is not very funny, Max. Sorry. <clears throat> Every day, in the garden of my lodging house, I have many birds. Blackie birds, cocky sparrows, <laughs> and uh, sometimes uh, a blue breast. <laughs> tit. A blue tit. <laughs> OK. Yesterday, I see a red robin tit. <laughs> well, that's a robin red breast. OK, yes. Uh, the British birds, much confusing. Yeah, well... <laughs> Never mind. No parents. Mother and father killed by a wasp, a small boy. Brothers or sisters? Hey, we be your brothers and sisters. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. We all become one big happy family. <coughs> hey, boys, look, here is Mr Brown. Ah, what are you all doing here? Uh -huh. <laughs> it makes a change. Yes, canteen coffee not very good. 
Uh, can we be buying you a drinky, please? Uh, well, that's very kind of you, Ali, but I've got a bit of a headache, so if you don't mind, I'll just have a quiet sit down over there. Oh. Hello, Mr. Brand. Oh, hello, Sid. Good night. Why are you ask? Well, there's a dance at the students' club. You want to come? Hey, I was going to ask Daniel to come with me. Oh, too bad. I ask her first. What do you say? Well, I like very much to dance. Good. Max, fluttering and dancing in the breeze. Well done. Oh, dearie me. I'm losing again. Good evening, all. Oh, hello, Sid. Hey, how you doing? You are five of us. <laughs> That's one pound each. I meant between Ali and Ranjit, then you both won. You are as wise as a holy guru. Thank you. Actually, it's time you're all back at school. It's your exams tomorrow. You should take every opportunity to study. I know. Okay, cocky. <laughs> we got. Come on, Ali, you too. <laughs> got it all. Ten minutes past seven and Mr. Brown has not arrived. Oh, but you're mistaken. He's here. Isn't he, Anna? Yeah. That's right. He's always early. Yes, please. Tonight he was here so early that he was here ten minutes before he arrived. <laughs> <laughs> He's just gone out. Oh, and where has he gone out to? Uh, uh, a toilet. toilet. I beg your pardon. A tea room. <laughs> Would you like to try again? What they mean is, first he goes to the tea room, then the toilet. Yeah, wow. that's right. yeah, yeah. Hello, Miss Cockney. Sorry I'm late. Oh, but you're not. Really? According to your students, you were here all the time. Ah, yes, well. Well, where exactly were you? But we told you. I am asking Mr. Brown. Well? Ah, uh, yes, um... What is going on? I don't know, but from their sign language, I think they're trying to say that I was having a cup of tea in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Miss Courtney, I'll tell you the truth. I am late, and the reason is this. I just popped across to the pub for some cigarettes, was uh, mistaken for a waiter, bought two drinks for two people I'd never even met before, was called a peasant, and finished up by pouring a glass of lager over a gentleman's head. <laughs> You're an even bigger liar than your students. <laughs> I would have thought that you would have made an effort to be early this evening. After all, it is your last chance to teach them something before they take their exams tomorrow. Yes, Miss Courtney, you're quite right, as usual. Not that I think any of them have the remotest chance of passing. Uh, Honesty! No, I think it's a good idea. Hey, you want to write verb tenses too? No, I'm hockey on verbs, but uh, no good on pronouns. So write the pronouns! No need. I already write them on handkerchief. <laughs> Max has got a handkerchief. <laughs> <laughs> I What's that sticking out of your top pocket? <laughs> oh, that. <laughs> That's not a proper handkerchief. But maybe Ali's got proper handkerchief. Let me see that handkerchief, Max. <laughs> I see. Pronouns are your weak point. That's right. Oh, I'll keep this. We never forget our English teachers. Yeah. <laughs> How do you think you got on with your exam? Fantastic. <laughs> well, I'm very proud of you all. I knew you wouldn't let me down. <laughs> right, uh, shall we have another drink? Yes! Yes! Well, who's round, is it? Yes! 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 Yes!